guys, what is up? My name is Megan and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and welcome to today's video which is the announcement for the Cats Are Brown of Everbloom Academy. If you are new here, hello, my name is Megan and back in September I launched my first round of my new readathon called the Everbloom Academy which is inspired by a lot of my favorite middle grade books. That being said, you don't need to read one single middle grade book to enjoy this readathon but it's essentially a school-based readathon where you have prompts to fulfill for each class and then you go forward through the years. We had a month-long readathon to host the first semester. However, I did mention to everyone that if you weren't capable of finishing all of your books during that time, it was okay because I'm here with the catch-up round. So there are two things you need to know about the catch-up round. One is either you can use this round to complete the incompleted prompts you have going into semester two, which will be happening during the winter, or you can use this time to gain a hall pass. So there are two options of how you can do this, depending on where you're at with Everbloom, because I know some of you guys have completed all the prompts. So let's break it down. When are we doing this? What is happening? I'm going to tell you all of it. This catch-up round is going to last two weeks and will go from November 10th to November 23rd. And during that time, there will be some reading sprints, obviously, to help you guys keep motivated and keep reading all on my channel. I don't have the specific dates for them. They will be more like impromptu. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to be like notified about when I go live. Now, if you have zero idea what this readathon is, I will leave in the cards and description for you guys the video announcement where I go into detail with every prompt and everything you need to have completed for semester one, year one. So you can watch that and you'll be like good to go with the prompts. I will also leave my recommendation video where I recommended over a hundred books for the different prompts so that you can have an idea what to read if you're stuck on a prompt. And obviously, I don't know how many of you guys are able to fulfill the prompts in two weeks, but technically there are seven things you need to have read in order to be all cleared for the next semester. Those are the five basic classes, so Arcane Ethics, Geography of Everbloom Academy, History of Magic, Ancient Languages, and Magic Botany. Those are the five you need to read. Now, obviously, as I mentioned in my other video, I have an explanation of the prompts. I will also leave the prompts down in the description so you can just read what the prompt is and what class is, it corresponds to. So you need those five read. Those are like obligations for everyone, keeping in mind that you can double up on prompts if need be. Then you need to choose to participate in the prompts of one of three departments. Also, keeping in mind, if you have not completed one book for every department and you're still unsure which department you want to be in, you need to know this before year two hits because that's when the readathon is very much going to be department focused. So I highly recommend taking this time to fulfill one prompt for each department so that you can pick and choose when time comes. If you have not completed your prompt for your department, you won't be able to join it. So you can use this time to fulfill those. The three departments being the Department of Half Truths and Full Cover-Ups, the Department of Magical Studies, and the Department of Supernatural Investigations. And the last thing you need to do is fulfill one of the electives. So technically there are seven books you need to complete in order to be all good for the upcoming semester in the winter. However, as I said, you can double up so you can read maybe three or four books and be all set for next round. So the first purpose of this readathon obviously is to complete any prompts that you have yet to. This is what I'm going to use this time. However, if you are done and you want what I like to call a hall pass, this is the time for you. So what is a hall pass? A hall pass is essentially something that you can acquire by doing extra reading prompts now so that you can put a hall pass on something you don't want to do in the upcoming rounds. The hall pass is good to skip a prompt. So essentially when I present to you the prompts for year one semester two, if there's a prompt in there that you're like absolutely not or you don't have time to fulfill a prompt, you can use your hall pass and you just skip that prompt and you're good to go. So you read a little bit more now so that you don't have to do as much reading or can skip out on the prompt that doesn't really appeal to you. So
So, in order to gain a hall pass, you need to read two books or get one book to fit two prompts out of the five following prompts. The first prompt is School Planner, which is to read a book that will help you fulfill one of your 2024 reading goals, whether that be, uh, for example, if you have a goal of reading more middle grade, if you had a goal to read classics, if you had whatever the goal may be, if you're still working towards your goals, use this and choose a book to fulfill one of your reading goals or to help you get there. Prompt number two is Holiday at Everbloom, and that is to read either a Christmas or holiday themed book. That can be any genre combined. It could be a novella, audiobook, no one cares as long as it is holiday or festive themed. Prompt number three is Professor Meg, which is me, and it is to read any book that I have given five stars to in the past or any book that is featured in my recommendation videos. I do believe I have a playlist of all my recommendations and book reviews, so I will leave that in the cards and description for you guys as well. Prompt number four is Hitting the Books because we are at school. And that is to read a book over 500 pages. And the last prompt is prompt number five, Campus Trees. It's the crisp fall here at Everbloom, so you can read a book with red, yellow, or orange on the cover because the leaves are changing colors. So, as I said, you fulfill two of these prompts, you can pick one book to fulfill both, or read two books, and that gets you one hall pass. If you fulfill four prompts, for example, you get two hall passes. The limit is two for this time around, so essentially if you read for, if you do four out of five prompts, you get two hall passes that you can use throughout the upcoming rounds of Everbloom. I hope that was clear. So essentially this is either I am gaining a hall pass for the future or I'm completing what I have left to do for Everbloom. Or if you're completely new here, you can start Everbloom from scratch and try to make it in the upcoming two weeks. All, again, all of this information will be in the description. If you have any quest questions, leave them in the comments. DM me on Instagram. I will be more than happy to answer them. And again, it goes from the 10th of November to the 23rd. I will also have a Google Doc linked down below once the readathon has started for you to be able to input all of your books. As I did with the first round, I will be giving away books uh, or gift cards uh, depending on where you're located but I usually like to give one or two people who participate in the readathon at random uh, something from their Amazon wish list so obviously if you don't have an Amazon wish list and I will say this if you don't have a wish list if you don't know how they work I will not be able to gift you something I really need access to a wish list with your address that is linked obviously that is confidential I'm not going to see your address but you need a wish list if not you can just input your books for the sake of like statistics um and that is also great so those are all of the like information things and again everything is linked down below we also have a discord which was active during the readathon it will keep being active this time around it will also be linked down below i love chatting in the discord and i feel like the people were having a grand old time there as well so obviously it's going to be active again the link for those of you who aren't already part of the Discord, will be in the description. Now, if that's all the information you need, you're free to go. However, I thought I would share my TBR for Everbloom because I have not completed all the prompts. So if you want to stick around and see what I'm reading, here we go. The first prompt I want to try and complete this time around uh, is Arcane Ethics. And for that, I am reading Amari in the Despicable Wonders. As I mentioned in my Candyland TBR, this is a book that I want to write a well, write a review and like film of a of you. I can't talk. Film a review for, and I just I'm so terrified of also being spoiled for this. This is the third book in the Amari and the Night Brother series, which is the book that has inspired all of the names of the different departments in this readathon. I absolutely love the series, and so I need to get to it. It's on my Candyland TBR, and it's what was originally my book for this prompt, either way. So, gotta get on that. Then I'm going to be using Headwitch 
by Sky McKenna for two different proms, one of them being Maggie Botany and the other one being the for the department um, which has the prompt communicating with nature. This is going to be a prompt I double up on with this book because there's animals in here and there's a lot of plants and stuff. It's going to be a whole vibe. Again, this is another book I'm planning on having a full review of on my channel. So we're hitting multiple birds with one stone. So those are two of the books. Then for amateur surveillance, I'm going to use The Cookie Crumbles. This is another book that I had gotten for a review. I have technically read this, but I need to read it again. And the audiobook is out for this, so I want to re-experience it. This is a middle grade book that features a mystery and some cooking. So it definitely fits for the mystery part of the prompt. And the last prompt I'm trying to hit is Stealth, Evasion, and Concealment. And for that, I'm going to be using... Crookhaven, which I don't know why I didn't bring the copy of the book, so I'll insert a picture. Uh, this was what I originally had for amateur surveillance, but it works better if I shift it around. And technically it works because it's kind of like a school of thieves and spies. And it fits the academia part. It fits like all of that. So we're twisting some books around to make it fit with my current TBR, but I'm really, really excited for that one. This is one... I was really hoping to get to in my original uh, first round of this readathon, but did not get to. So happy to put it back on here. So technically, I'm trying to read four books in two weeks, um, combined with other things I have going on. So I'm crossing my fingers it works because I need to be up to date to my, with my own readathon. So that's it for today's video. Again, I hope you guys are excited to participate. I will leave all the information down below, but don't hesitate if you have any questions at all. And you can also message the Discord and I'm sure other people will be able to answer as well. So I will be seeing you on the 10th for some reading sprints for the opening of this readathon. And yeah, bye guys. Happy reading.